Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Wanted to talk about a uh, documentary we watched over the weekend, me and Mrs. Bits. Um, sometimes we get into some of those cold case files or documentaries about serial killers and stuff like that. It's, it's a guilty pleasure, but a lot of us do. Um, but we stumbled across one on Max, which used to be HBO Max, and they recently changed it to just Max. A friend of the channel actually has let me use their Max, and I really appreciate it. Uh, still got to get caught up on all these other shows. But we watched this uh, documentary. It was about Jared Fogle. Now, you're probably wondering, who's Jared Fogle? Well, if you guys look, took a like back in the 2000s, early 2000s, uh, Subway had a, a celebrity, basically. And it was this guy that weighed about 400-some pounds who lost, I think it was a staggering 250 pounds almost, uh, by eating Subway sandwiches and changing his lifestyle. But mainly he was eating Subway sandwiches, and he lost a ton of weight. And there was actually a bunch of people that done this, and uh, they got a little bit of fame from it. And Jared was the most famous of it. He actually uh, made a career of, you know, being a spokesman for Subway, going to schools, talking to kids, uh, which you guys might know where I'm going here. Okay, so those who don't know, Jared Fogel is currently in prison. Uh, for CP. Uh, if you need to know what CP is, uh, don't look it up because I don't want you to get in trouble. But there's this uh, something with children, okay? Stuff. But anyways, I never knew exactly how bad it was. Like, I thought maybe he got, got with, like, uh, just hard drives full of that stuff, which, uh, anyway, you look at it, it's pretty disgusting. And how I feel about these people and I'm not going to justify them by calling them maps or what they're saying. Like, this is this for some other reason, people are trying to humanize child predators by calling them maps, minor attracted people, which what they need is castrated, like castrated, like full on hung by their balls and just, you know, that you don't you don't do that with kids. You don't touch kids. You don't you don't do that. Um but this this documentary had some people that worked really close. One actually acted as a top secret like informant, like a journalist that was recording these conversations she was having with Jared. And you know, it started out like innocent. You thought there was this playing around, being like, "Oh, I like you. You like me." And then Jared starts opening up. He got comfortable with this lady, and he started talking about his fantasies of young children, which is disgusting. But I, there's one thing, like, I, I don't like scumbags. I don't like bullies. I especially don't like child predators. Like, if, here's the thing. If somebody touched my niece or nephew, um, they would be in the hospital, and I would rip their balls off uh, with some hot iron or something and just pour Tabasco sauce all over, maybe ghost pepper. I, either way, it's pretty disgusting, right? You, we know that's disgusting, there's no humanizing it. There's no justification for it. It's breaking the law, and these people should be put in a cell forever. Forever. For a very long time. Not to see the light of day. I, I don't like these kind of people, right? I don't like I don't like rapists. I don't like people that beat on their wives. And this is another thing I really hate. And watching this, like, made me feel so angry. Like, I felt so angry that the fact that he was going to all these schools, like, Talking to these kids, like, disgusting. Then you kind of find out, like, he was going out of the country to meet kids at Thailand, where stuff is pretty sketchy to begin with. And, you know, you start to hear all this stuff. And how how does that even happen? Now, I know there's a lot of psychology behind this stuff. Um, some people say, um, like, you know, if it happens to you at a young age... Then you turn around and do the same thing. I don't think that's completely true. I think the people this happens to hurts them badly. Hurts them badly. And this is the case of this. Like you actually see in the interviews with some of the victims, and you know their lives are changed forever. Uh, this this stays on them for the rest of their lives. They're always going to have to remember it. Even putting him behind bars where he belongs, which I think he has ten years left. Then he comes out. And, you know, I guess he'll have money again, so everything's okay, which is not. Um, it's still a monster. And, you know, I, 
you know, I would like if, if I, I could do anything on my channel is to catch some of these fuckers and let them have it. I'd love to do that. Love to do something like that. Uh, but, you know, you run a risk of getting hurt. Um, you know, you run a risk of getting hurt by talking about sovereign citizens all day long because, you know, some of them show up your house or in town and you don't know if they have guns or weapons and stuff like that. Now, you don't mess with criminals unless you are somebody that is professional, that can handle themselves professionally. Now, just like you and I, we hear something about that and, you know, we automatically go into fight or flight mode where we want to tear somebody apart piece by piece. Um, you know, I'm not advocating violence, but these fuckers, <sighs> it's nasty. Uh, if you want to be pissed off, if you want to be pissed off for a little bit, um, and I, I, I would recommend watching this. Um, it's disturbing. It really is because there is actual conversations, uh, of him talking about kids. Um, and it's, it's, like I said, it's pretty disturbing. I mean, something I, I would highly recommend uh, anybody to watch, if only to be educated on these sickos, these psychopaths. Um, and that goes to, if you know somebody that's doing this, turn them in to the cops. I don't care. I don't care if you say you're a cop sucker and you're trying to defend it or if one of these sovereign citizens are like, oh, he has a First Amendment right to look at CP and do all this stuff. Um, no, fuck you. Like, really hard. Um, it's just, like, Washington just brought so much anger. Like, uh, you guys ever watch something like it? Now, I think, you know, I've watched, like, regular movies like Schindler's List. And, you know, that triggered me hard because I was like, felt so bad for these people. But that's different. This is real life stuff. And I'm not saying Schindler's List wasn't real life. It was pretty, pretty close to it. But um, we're talking about documentary of something that actually could have happened in anybody's neck of the woods. It could be your next door neighbor. You just don't know it. Um, and it could be the most successful uh, people look up to this person. Uh, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. And I hate to say that. I hate to say it, but like, just be careful. Be careful. Watch that. Watch that show. Watch that show. If you know people that's going through stuff, have them speak up. Have them speak up. Um, you know, I don't want children to get hurt. I don't want children to be abused. I don't want that. I don't want regular ass people to get abused either, especially children. Like they don't fucking deserve that, especially to that degree. I'm, this might not be the normal daily bits and I might be kind of disturbing, but you know, I just want to tell where I stand on these things. Like, yeah, I would like to make a full blown video about it. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll we'll make a video about it. We'll talk about Jared Fogel or more. Uh, maybe we'll have some stuff where we call these people out. Because honestly, the more bad press on these people, the more eyes that are on it, the better it is. Because, you know, they'll know. They'll say, hey, I better watch it before I make that fucking decision. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just rambling like I always do. Uh, guys, I love you very much. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.